Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Summonite 5. Today we're in yet another aberration, I guess, inside of Ernst's memory, inside the um, Life Resonance Stone that we acquired. So in order to get all the Brave Medals for this battle, we have to clear it within 10 turns. That means you literally have like 5 turns, because it's 5 turns for the enemy, 5 turns for you. So, yeah, that's how that works. So I'm gonna switch my party members around just a little bit. There we go. So Ark is gonna be over here in the top right-hand corner, Ruli in the bottom left, and Spinel in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, and then Sokin and Callus will kind of go together and do whatever they have to do, since, uh, you know, the girls actually have really nice area of effect spells, whereas the boys don't. So, <laughs> it's kind of crappy, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and use a blank flash here. Get some nice damage on them. Hey, hey, nice! Okay. And to make this even harder, you have to, um, kill these guys, and there's gonna be more and more and more of them spawning constantly. Nice damage there. Okay. Uh, let's see, Spinel. We're gonna have you blast. I I think I can have you blast these two guys right here. I want to say that I can get oh, this stupid freaking thing right there. Ooh! Oh, that bugs me. You know what, Ruli? Really? Just gonna have to deal with the damage. Yeah. Well, at least I got a, you know, nice hit there. Okay. So let's bring Callus over this away. There we are. And have him, uh, let's see. You really want to try to kill these guys in one shot, if at all possible. But, you know, sometimes it's just not possible, uh, but you do want to get it done as quickly as humanly possible. So let's see, we'll go ahead and blast him. Uh, hey, awesome! So everybody's done everything, so let's move and groove right along. So last time we learned a couple of things. Basically, we are peering into Ernst's memory, but the things that we're being shown are actually like Arca's memory. It's kind of strange. So, yeah, I don't really know what's going on here, but, eh, maybe we'll get more information, more insight after this battle is concluded. Oh, yeah, all of you guys, please gang up on Arca. Oh, it'll make my life so much easier. Ooh, you guys can gang up on the men, too. Spinel can get over there and just blast you guys. Ooh, yeah. Something tells me Arca's gonna be killing all three of them in one shot. <laughs> Oh, Blank Flash is such a good skill, and you get it so early in the game. I love it! Okay, you're pretty weak. You have... Oh, you're pretty weak, too. So, yeah, we'll just do this. Bam! Hey, awesome! Okay. I am going to have to use a Life Resonance as well to get a Brave Point here, but if I can't do that, I'll just re... You know, I'll just redo it whenever. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so let's bring you over here. Let's see... 180. Oh, you're close to killing him. Can you kill him with something else? 200! Hey, you can! Awesome! Okay, Spinel. Yeah, lots of these enemies over here. Let's move the boys away so they don't get... Uh, let's see. 167. Hey, hey! 227! I like it! I approve! Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's move him just a little bit further away, and I'll deal with him later. And, uh, let's see what I can't go with doing the blank flash over here. I want to make sure... Oh, this guy back there, I can't... Uh, how much HP? 109. Okay. That's gonna deal some damage there, yeah. So, um, I'll hit it here just so that everybody gets, um, a hit. There we are. And so can hopefully you can do some... Oh, I moved you way too far away. Damn it. Um, do something else that you could hit, maybe? Lightning Blast? Oh, that would also hit that one, too. Hey, yeah! Oh, this is so nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this battle to do the, um, the life resonance anyway, because I am not saving up anybody's MP right now, and in order to do that, it would take me longer than five turns. So you kind of have to do this one twice, do it once with the five turns, do it another time to get the life resonance bonus. So... Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit complex, but it's not, you know, nothing you can't handle or anything. Okay, this guy right here, can you just kill him? Yeah, we can. Awesome. Let's see what we got going on down here, 196. 
Uh, let's bring Ruli over here. Maybe she can deal with it. That would be lovely. Oh, 26. That kind of sucks. Oh, and she doesn't have a lot of MP either. Um, maybe... You know what? Oh, okay. I, you know, this is what I can do. I can have the boys kill this one. And then I also have Spinel who can take out this guy as well. So I'll have both of you guys uh, work on him. Or just use Blank Flash. That works too. And that should be everyone. Uh, hey! Did I get it within the 10 turns? I really hope so. Uh, hey, I did! Yeah, but again, I'll be redoing it for Life Residence. I'm not too concerned about it. Oh, the light is not getting weaker. It's taking on a form. You're kidding. What kind of form? Spinel. So, Spinel was formed by that light? Spinel was created by Arca? Yeah, no kidding. So, is this why they can um, nullify the nether by creating these light blasts? Are they really just using Spinel? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was because you had to choose one of four accessories to give to the person before they actually reveal the form to you, but hey, that's just me. Oh, well that's not good. Oh no, it's starting to collapse, holy crap! They did say that it could be fatal if too many discrepancies happen, and we've already had two discrepancies so far, two of these nether beast attacks. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, that's true. Ernst never was here. It was just Ark and Spinel. So how does the Thousand Eye even know of this? And Arka is paying no attention. She's just talking to her little angel friend. Yeah, a cute little flashback to the beginning of the game here. Aww. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Yeah, we really don't have time to sit around and talk. But then again, this is a Summonite game, so that's all they ever do is sit around and talk. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, Spinel made the light earlier. And she got rid of all these nether beasts earlier. And then I guess her power just went dormant. I don't know, or she forgot about it, or, you know, maybe it's just that Arca and all them weren't in enough danger for the uh, power to manifest itself. What's going on? This is just a memory. Is this really going to affect us? I mean, or is this another aberration? Yeah, you made Spinel. You gave her the form, you gave her the name. Everything about her, you created. What's what's wrong? What's going on? What's happening now? Oh, we're back to Ernst. Huh. Wait, his father and mother are gone? Oh, yeah. It was kind of odd at the beginning of the game, where um, Gift and his parents just kind of moved. Remember Arcus said something about that? She said, like, well, I was... You know, unconscious for three days, and in that time frame of three days, um, the entire Bratern family just moved. It was very odd. Well, what are you going to tell him? Oh. Yeah, I guess you're uh, spilling the beans right here. So, Ernst all this time knew that the Bratern family is actually um, this kind of ancient family line that is seeking to, I don't know, yeah, revive or reestablish the better or more powerful nether summon arts rather than the life resident summon arts. Like, this reminds me a lot of Harry Potter with, like, the Death Eater families kind of going undercover, uh, the Malfoys and all that. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, we've heard about the colorless faction. And we know that the Bratterns are part of the Colorless Faction. Oh, really? So is the Bratern family the only, like, remaining survivors of the Colorless Faction? Oh. That's a pretty big secret to keep, Ernst. Oh, okay, so your mother and father were trying to revive this summon magic, whereas you wanted to reject the nether summon magic, 
and use the regular life resonance summoning magic. Huh, I guess that's why you chose to become summoner. What's going on now? Oh, no. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he got attacked by the nether beasts. He's swallowing his soul! Whoa! Oh, you're having a malfunction? Seriously? What's going on? Oh, hey, gift. Yeah, no kidding. You mind telling us what's going on, gift? Mind spilling the beans here? They failed? What do you mean they failed? Yeah, what are you talking about? They failed at the Nether Summon Arts? Holy crap! So, if you failed the Nether Summon Arts, I guess the Nether Beasts killed them? Or they died trying to summon them or something? Oh. Huh. Uh, what do you think, Ernst? Yeah, no kidding. Oh, that's not good at all. How does Gift know about this? He's like 10 years old. Wouldn't you think that they would have, um, kept this from him? I mean, it's incredibly dangerous. Oh, so they were swallowed by the nethers that they summoned. Oh, really? Huh. Why didn't you tell him? You know, I'm sure if you told your big brother that, hey, mom and dad were swallowed into a dimensional vortex of nether and they're dead, he would have stayed home and taken care of you, or he would have taken you to Savoral City and supported you. I mean, he's not just going to leave you alone. But he did leave you alone, and you didn't learn anything from your parents' failures. You took up the book, and you tried to summon the other beasts again, and instead of getting the beasts, you got the Mudmires, and that set off the events of, um, I guess the rest of the game, really. Pargion, the truth of Nether. Pargion believers? So is it like, is Pargion like the god of the Netherworld? Or like the, um, the, the supreme being that they worship in order to, um, summon these Nether beasts? Maybe he's like the Demon Lord. Oh, so whereas Ernst is abandoning the Bratern family and abandoning the Nether Summon Arts, Gift is taking them up, I guess, to, I don't know, fulfill his parents' wishes or something? He didn't know that they were dead, but then again, how do you not know that your parents are dead? Like, seriously. Like, give me a freaking break. At this point, I would say that he's... I don't know, 15, 16, 17 years old, and he has no clue that his parents are dead? Like, are you joking? Are you kidding me? I don't care how far away you went to. Like, they, they have telephones in this game. They have mail in this game. I mean, come on. Like, you don't know that your parents are dead? Give me a break. Things ridiculous. Oh, so you're leaving? Huh. He's a really independent eight-year-old. He's like, I know that my parents are dead, and I have nothing and no money to support myself or anything, and you're the only family member that I have left, but screw you, I'm going home. And then Ernst just leaves too. That's crazy to me. Oh, yeah, Arca. Huh, so we're getting some more flashbacks as to what happened at the beginning of the game. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, this was at the beginning of the game whenever uh, Ernst was telling Arca that, hey, you know, now that you have a cross, you need to go register it with the U-Cross. And she thought that he was trying to, like, take Spinel away from her or something along those lines, but he was just, you know, doing what he had to do, just following the law. Oh. Oh, that's right, the nether, you got infected by the nether! Oh no... So is it taking over his body this early? This was right after he rescued Arca at the very beginning of the game. 
Wow, so he's been fighting this, uh, nether control for about ten years now. So, I mean, how, how come you weren't turned into a zombie or anything well before, um, Arca grew up and everything? Oh, yeah, no kidding. Well, what are you guys gonna do? You're sure you can do what? What's going on? The Summon Armament! Hey, hey! Yeah, so at this point, Gaudi is going to um, join up with Ernst, and the two will become one. They'll both be corrupted by the Nether, but because Gaudi is, um, like, really powerful, and he's a cross, and he's a summon, and he's like a golem, he's able to share part of the burden and make it so that uh, Ernst isn't completely swallowed or controlled by the Nether, and that's what makes it so that um, he doesn't get completely controlled, like, you know, way back when. That's why he's able to stave off the Nether for so long until Gift kind of comes of age and continually summons more and more and more Nether Beasts, then Ernst has to absorb them, and once he does that, it's just too much for his system. Like, he was able to kind of deal with just the one nether beast infection and kind of keep it at bay using Gaudi's power, but once he absorbed more and more and more and more and more, he couldn't do it, and that's why he went insane. Wow, yet another flashback. Wow, we're seeing lots of Ernst's memories. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, so, um, I know that we learned this a long time ago that Ernst was actually the Blue Machine Summoner, but if you were wondering how that all came about, well, now you know. Oh. Yeah, poor guys. Oh, I guess we're uh, done with those little memories and everything. Yet, you know, before, I would say two or three episodes ago, Arca was saying that, you know, Gift is innocent, and he's, you know, he just needs to repent, and he's fine, and he's still my friend, and blah 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 blah. The real evil is actually Ernst. Like, are you kidding me right now? How is Ernst the real evil? Ernst is the victim. Gift is the real evil. Uh, maybe Ark will come to her senses and realize that we actually need to save and rescue Ernst, and Gift can go suck it. Like, screw him. Uh, yeah, we actually did, but it doesn't really help us. Like, we know their motivation, we know why they're doing what they're doing, but we still don't know how we can stop them. Although we also know... Spinel's origin, maybe that could help us. Knowing that Spinel isn't actually a cross, knowing that she's actually not from Saparith, that she's like a child of light, essentially. I had never actually played that game, but eh, I heard it was really good. Yeah, all you guys knew this. And again, everybody knows everything except for the main protagonist and, by extension, the player. No one tells us anything! Wow, so Yang Hu was here just to watch us and monitor us. And I guess the commander was watching Arca too. Maybe that's why Arca rose to such prominence within the summoner field, and why she got to have meetings with Commander Zinzala all the time, because the commander was like actually like instead of Instead of, like, meeting with her because she was, you know, so great, he was meeting with her to kind of keep tabs on her and to spy on her. And on Spinel. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's true, too. Yeah, well, they probably thought that, um... You know, since... Since Gift went and summoned all those Mudmires and all those Netherworld beings, that maybe Spinel is also a Netherworld being, but, like, in disguise? Yeah, no kidding. Well, I mean, it makes sense why they suspected her. Oh. 
Oh, wow, still, even so. Well, then what can Spinel do to actually clear her name and to not be suspected? I mean, she's done nothing wrong, and she's been with Arca and in this organization, and has access to all sorts of class out of classified information for, like, what, upwards of ten years now? And she's done nothing suspicious whatsoever, yet you still suspect her. Like, that's pretty awful, to always be under suspicion and to feel like you can never do anything right. That's terrible. But with all that, we've finished up Chapter 12, so tune in next time for Chapter 13 of Let's Play Summonite 5. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day. Thank you.